all right so over here in this question you can see i have this input over here and we require to get this desired output from this input over here i'll just comment this part out and so let's figure out what we need to do in this question if you see here i have an array of objects with key and data right each object has key and data properties so here you can see key has test one data has data one again a key of test one and data of data one then a key of test two data of data two so you can see there are different types of keys test one test two test three and test four and our goal is to create something like this where all the keys which have the same value so test one test one test one we need to take that key and make it a key of this final object all right so we need to return a final object where the key will be nothing but this key over here so as you can see test one test one and test one is repeated three times so one two and three right and it has the value data one data one and data one so we need to make sure that for each key we create an array of objects where we add the number of times that object has been repeated or that key has been repeated so for test one because test one has been repeated thrice the test one is an array and in that array it has three objects with the key of test one and data of data one similarly for test two test two has occurred only once so test two is an array with only one object which is this test two key and the data of data two all right similarly test three and test four have also been repeated once each so they will also be an array of one object having the key and data of test three and data one and test four and data one all right because these two objects also have the data as data one so basically we need to check the keys over here in this array we need to see the number of times they have repeated or, the, or its number of occurrence and then we need to place that keys object in this array for that key the number of times it has occurred which is three in this case one for test two once for test three and once for test four so this might seem complicated at first glance but it's actually a pretty easy solution so as you can see over here i have created this normalize function and i'm calling it over here and this takes an object which is nothing but this obj over here all right so now so let's write the logic over here so that at the end of this normalize function we return this output for this input so over here what we can do first is first i'll create a variable named let output which will be an empty object all right because of course the returned answer is within an object then what i can do is i can write a for each where i go through each object in this array and then i can check if the output already has this key or each of these individual key so i'll loop through this array i'll check if the output already has this key if it does then i'll simply keep adding these entire objects to that specific key and if it doesn't then i'll make sure that i first create a new entry with that particular key and then to that entry to that key i'll add an array of objects for the number of times it has occurred so here i can write obj dot for each and then we know that in for each we can pass a callback something like this all right now for each gives us the individual values over here the individual object but instead of writing the individual object so but instead of writing data i'll simply destructure the key and the data because this object has key and data so i'll just destructure that out then after that i'll write a check where if let's say if the output object over here if it does not have the key so let's say i go to this object first when i'm doing the for each at this moment the output object is empty so it does not have test one so if test one is not present in the output object then simply add test one as a key to the output object so output of key is going to be nothing but an empty array because you can see this just means that test one gets added to the output object and it will initially have an empty array and within this array we are going to add the number of times the key test one has occurred so once this if statement is complete right after this i'm going to write output of key so output of test one for the first entry so output of test one is going to be equal to i'll first destructure everything in that particular output itself so output of key equals it's an array 
and first i'll destructure everything that's there in that output of key so let's say test so let's say we are adding the second entry then we want that the first entry should also already be there so we destructure the value of all the values that's already present in test one and we add the new value so in this case for the first iteration there's nothing in output of key because output of test one has been created but there's nothing at the moment so this is going to be empty and then we add the first value which is nothing but key comma data all right so during for each for the first entry the output of key is going to be created if it's if it's not already present in output so if test one is not present it will add test one assign it an empty array then it will destructure all the values that's already present in test one in the test one array at the moment there's no values then after that it will add the key and data so it will add test one and data one to test one itself then it will go to the next one it will check is test one already present this time it is so it's not going to go over here so it's directly going to go over here so output of test one is going to destructure the values already present in test one so this first entry is going to be destructured and then it's going to add key and data again so this entry is going to get added to it again which will cause test one to have these two entries similarly it's going to do the same thing for this over here as well and the same thing is going to go on for test 2, test 3 and test 4 when it comes to test 2. It's again going to see that test 2 is actually not there in the output. So it's going to go here. If it's not there, it's going to add test 2 and assign it an empty array. Then it's going to go here and it's going to add the values of test 2 to the test 2 key. Alright. Now, with that done, if I just quickly run the code, but before I run it, let me just comment this out. Alright. So now, with that done, I will quickly just run this code over here to see if we get this output over here so if i click on run all right it seems we are getting an output of undefined well that's obvious because i haven't returned this final output from this object so right after this entire for each is over i'll go down here and i'll write return output all right and now if i run this voila you can see we get this output which if i match over here let me just uncomment this you can see it's the same so test one test one it has three objects three objects with the key test one then test two has one object then test three has one object here test three also has one object here similarly test four has one object here and test four also has one object here so this means our code works perfectly fine and that's all for this question